Arthur, this is Louis Bellet. It's a new range to me, but I know it's not new to Rainford, is it? No, we've been working with this company for two years. They're a very, very high quality uh, Swiss manufacturer. We started working with them because of the quality of the special tools uh, that we required for some customers. And then we developed into selling their standard products. Okay, it's the idea, correct me if I'm wrong, but you've got a catalogue. Instead of a, a catalogue of end mills, a catalogue of you know, engraving tools, you've got all the products in, the, in one catalogue, but for that particular material group. Is that correct? Correct, yes. Um, the range is called Expert, and mm -hmm. the reason for that is uh, Louis Bollet are very good at supplying the Swiss industries where they make tens of thousands of components and the cost per component relative to the tool price uh, is the important thing, not the buying price of the tool. And the, what materials can we see here? Uh, the, the five expert ranges we've got are stainless steel, we've got titanium, we've got composite materials, aluminium and brass. And the, and the, uh, the tools themselves? Within the range of tools, we've got uh, drills. There's new ranges of drills with through coolants, uh, shortly to be available. There are end mills, engraving tools or D-bits, specials. So if you've got a special requirement where you need multiple diameters mm -hmm. or radii, um, we can manufacture them. And uh, slitting saws starting at 0 0.1 width. Okay, so you, you mentioned Swiss industries. Presumably we're talking watch industry, but is there anybody else that could use these? A, a wide variety of uh, industries can use these tools. Um, we're looking at sliding head machines, which aren't necessarily sli uh, watchmaking, mm -hmm. but are getting more involved in smaller and smaller parts. I guess many parts need engraving, many parts need a slitting saw. Uh, the slitting saw uh, is a popular one. Engraving, not so much, uh, but certainly the drilling and the end mm -hmm. mills, um, we do very well with. And are these stocked again in the UK by yourselves? Yes, uh, within the range of the expert tools, uh, we have stocks of end mills and drills. And a good example is the 370 drill, which is uh, for stainless steel. We go from 0.5 up to 1.5 in every 10 micron increments. So if a customer's got a problem, we've got a solution in that material to give them a long tool life and mm -hmm. best value for money per component. And you stock all these in the UK, like I say? Yes. Wow, okay. So I'm going to pick this one, composite. That must be fairly unique to you. I know there's cutting tool manufacturers with composite tooling, some of the larger companies, but perhaps not at this diameter? Uh, I'd agree. Um, the unique uh, feature of Louis Ballet is that for composites, they start at 0.48 millimetre diameter whereas a lot of our competitors start at 2.5 or even 3 mil diameter as their smallest tool. Um, so we've got quite a range uh, between the 0.48 and mm -hmm. those size, the big size uh, of tools that we can solve the problems again. So still on the composite, that's a wide range still. So is it all composites? Uh, the majority of them. Um, you will find that we need to be really material specific. Uh, to give the best results and Belay will ask the question of what is the material? Yeah, because they are becoming more advanced. We're seeing it obviously in, in aircraft, the automotive, the watch industry as well now. So we're going to see more and more composites. So hopefully you get more and more business after. Uh, we will see more and more composites and we'll also see uh, component sizes getting smaller and smaller. So yes, you will see a lot more of the Louis Belay mm -hmm. tools. We may have a a composite iPad in years to come. No reason why not. Oh, without doubt. Mm. Yeah. I like the idea of the catalogue, Arthur. Is it straightforward to understand? Uh, very much so, because within the catalogue, it gives you the technical specifications of the material, a complete list. It also gives you them as a product group so that you can ally that product group onto the individual tool, be it an end mill, a drill, etc and have the correct feeds and speeds for using that, uh, that tool on that particular material. Yeah, it's great. A bit more value added from Rainford. Yes. Uh, we're trying to su 
provide a solution to a problem, not just sell a cutting tool.